Britain's Queen Elizabeth II has been touring Germany and visiting with German leaders. Earlier today, she laid a wreath in Berlin at the Central Memorial for the Victims of War and Tyranny. It's a site that honours German suffering in events from World War I to the separation of East and West. The 89-year-old monarch is on a state visit through until Friday and Max Foster is in Berlin following that trip for us. Max, this is the Queen's seventh trip to Germany and at 89 years of age, possibly her last international trip, but she isn't slowing down quite a busy schedule over the next few days. Yeah, and the palace is really denying that this is her last big foreign trip, which is a lot of the speculation. They're saying they're rumours, which are completely unfounded, and they do point to that really packed schedule that you, you rightly point out. She's doing a huge amount each day that she's here, which would put her grandchildren to shame. You don't see Kate and William doing the same amount of events in the course of a day as she does. And the key moment today really was that meeting with Chancellor Angela Merkel. So we were told it was going to be behind closed doors because... Uh, the, the Queen's counterpart as head of state in this country is the president and he's hosting her. But we did eventually get some pictures actually from the foreign ministry showing Angela Merkel uh, meeting with the Queen and the sound was up as well. So it was very rare to hear that type of conversation. Also quite rare to hear Angela Merkel speaking English. Uh, and it was all, that, all about that meeting, really a reference back to the Second World War. So you had Angela Merkel showing her through her private apartments pointing over to where the Berlin Wall would have once stood and uh, Merkel described how she lived in the east so just uh, 200 yards away from where they were standing which was quite a remarkable moment when you consider how built up and developed that area is and then they went on to discuss how uh, it's been 70 years since the war and you heard the Queen talking about how there'd been so many anniversaries so uh, whilst um, the two countries get on very well together now there is this ongoing reconciliation between them because of this very dark moment in history and really what those photographic moments are about is part of the history, the evolving history as those two countries come together. And of course it won't be all official visits this trip. Prince Philip, uh, the Queen's husband, who's fluent in Germany, in German, has relatives in Frankfurt, so he's uh, planning to spend some time there. Yeah, and he actually came to school here for a while in Germany and the Queen has German heritage as well, which is why partly why you see this great connection between Germans and British royalty. So you saw big crowds out today wanting to come out and see them. But it is actually an official engagement, this lunch on Thursday in Frankfurt. But um, uh, Prince Philip is inviting a couple of his relatives along. And that really em emphasises the bonds between the two countries and perhaps something that uh, people in Britain don't necessarily know, that there is this uh, very close relationship between... Uh, German uh, Germany and the British royal family. In a way, they are sort of Germany's royal family as well because of that heritage. And, uh, of course, it's not common for the British Prime Minister to join a tour by the Queen, but David Cameron will be there on this occasion, and he has a lot riding on this trip. What's he hoping to achieve? Yeah, it's not usual for the Prime Ministers to come along because they're not meant to be seen to be picking up, piggybacking on royal visits because the Queen's role is a sort of long-term role to build relationships between countries and to boost Britain's interests abroad. But she does create this... Uh, she does get access, obviously, to the highest places in her country and she creates an atmosphere of working together and David Cameron is taking that opportunity really to come to the state dinner tonight and he's going to get face time with Angela Merkel. His big mission really in Europe right now is to renegotiate Britain's relationship with Europe. He needs Merkel's support on that. So there's some politics behind the scenes on this one. A lot going on in Germany today. Max Foster, thanks for bringing us up to date.